بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy I'm Muhammad Shahid and today the focus of my lecture is HSK1 vocabulary We have discussed HSK1 vocabulary in the part 1 of this series and we have discussed 20 vocabularies of HSK1. I have discussed in detail that what is HSK and why do we study HSK while we learn Chinese language. So today I will discuss other vocabularies. I have collected 20 vocabularies in this lecture. I have compiled it for the ease of those people who want to take HSK tests. These vocabularies will help you a lot when you are trying to attempt HSK 1 test. So let's proceed and get to know about those vocabularies. So this is vocabulary or word number 21 as we have discussed 20 vocabularies of HSK1 in this lecture we will discuss other vocabularies starting from 21. So the vocabulary number 21 is tuo, 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 tuo means many, much or more. So the sentence we have in front of us is Ni Tian Bao Li Yo Tuo Sao Tian Ni Tian Bao Li Yo Tuo Sao Tian Ni means you Tian Bao means purse or wallet Li means inside Yo means have Tuo much, how much, shao, tuo shao, how much, qian means money. So you can say your purse inside have how much money. Okay, in Chinese, if we translate it literally, ni qian bao li you tuo shao qian. How much money is in your wallet? How much money is in your wallet? Aapke purse mein, aapke wallet mein kitne paise hai? Ni means you, tian bao, purse ya wallet. Li ke andar yo hai, tuo shao kitne tian paise. Aapke wallet ke andar kitne paise hai? So I'm going to discuss these in English and Urdu as these are the two mediums of instruction going through in at going through in this lecture. Okay. So proceeding towards word number twenty-two. Here we have hui 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 means can and I have highlighted the word of discussion in orange you can see it in orange color and you can see its meaning and you can see its characters so ni hui shuo han yu ma ni hui shuo han yu ma ni here means you hui can shuo to speak Han Yu Chinese Ma means a particle used at the end of a sentence to convert a simple sentence into an interrogative sentence. So Ni Hui Shuo Han Yu Ma Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak Chinese language? Okay. Kya Chinese Zaban Bol Sakte hai? 
खोए का मतलब है कर सकना सो so, यहाँ पर जब खोए आ जाता है शो खान यू के साथ तो आप क्या आप चाइनीज बोलने के काबिल है क्या बोल सकते हैं तो नी खुए नी खुए शो खान यू मा कैन यू स्पीक चाइनीज ओके सो आई होप दैट यू हैव लर्न इट नाउ वर्ड नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री टूडे आज What are your plans today? Ni means you. Jin Tian means today. You 什么 have what? Da Suan, Da Suan, Da Suan means plan. आपके क्या मंसूबे हैं आज के लिए तुम्हारे क्या मंसूबे हैं आज के लिए Ni means you. Jin Tian means today. You 什么 So you 什么 have what? Da Suan plan. So what are your plans today or what are your plans for today? तो जैसे कि उर्दू में भी मैंने बता दिया कि आपके मंसूबे क्या है आज के लिए आपने आज क्या प्लान किया हुआ है आप आज क्या करने वाले हैं ठीक है तो नी मीन्स यू जिंथियन आज यौ शमा यौ मीन्स है शमा क्या तासवान मंसूबा ठीक है आपकी क्या प्लान है करने के लिए सो This is word number twenty-three. Now let's proceed to word number twenty-four, and it is "chi". "Chi" means it's a verb, and it means to eat. "Chi". 我想吃芒果。我想吃芒果。我想吃芒果。I want to eat mango. It's a straightforward sentence, and I will tell you. "我" means I. Xiang means to want. Chi means to eat. Mango, mango means mango. 我想吃芒果 I want to eat mango. 没阿姆卡纳查塔姆我 means. 一瓦拉就拉布特伊 This word is 吃 I have、uh, given this word on the left side. And you can easily see it with its English meaning, and I have highlighted these words accordingly in in characters in orange color, by、uh, mentioning it by highlighting it with orange color in in character in pinyin in English. Okay, you can easily identify these these、uh, with the help of the orange color. Okay, 我想吃芒果。我 means I, 没想 means 吃呢，吃卡呢，芒果。Am, 没 am 卡呢，长大了，没 am 卡呢，长大了。Okay, let's proceed towards the next word, and this one is, 开，开，开，开 means to open, to open. 你能开门吗？你能开门吗？你能开门吗 ？Can you open the door? 你 means you. 能 can. It also means can. But we use these.、Uh, if you remember, we have also discussed the word "hui." That is also used for telling can, and、uh, it, that's the meaning of that word is also can, and the meaning of this word is also can, but These words have slight differences in its use, which can be discussed in another lecture. But for now, you can understand that this "nang" can also be、uh, used for "can," and here it is asking permission. Asking permission. 你能开门吗？你能开门吗？你能开门吗？门吗 ？Okay. So. As I said, "nang" means to be able to. Can, kai, open, man, ma, man, ma, man, ma, door, and I have discussed this.
plenty of times this ma okay a particle used to convert a simple sentence into into interrogative sentence can you open the door kai man ma kai man ma open the door can you open the door kya aap darwaza khol sakte hain ni nang ni means you nang means kar sakna theek hai kar sakna kya kar sakna khai man khai man darwaza kholna ma ma ye ek aisa lafz hai chinese zuban mein jiska apna to koi maana nahi hai jiske upar agar ek tone nahi hai ya hum ise fifth tone ke naam se jante hain to jab ye aakhir mein aa jata hai ye wala ye wala lafz तो इसका ये सादा जुमले से सवाल या जुमला बना देता है तो ये आप जहन में रखें कि ये लफ्स जब भी किसी भी चाइनीज सेंटेंस में किसी भी चाइनीज जुमले में जब आखिर में आ जाए तो इसका मतलब क्या होगा इसका मतलब ये होगा कि सादा जुमले को सवाल या जुमला बनाएगा सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन माइंड दैट दिस पार्टिकल इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट अ सिंपल सेंटेंस इन टू अंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंस ओके Now let's proceed to our Nina Kaiman Ma. Can you open the door? Okay. The next word is lung. Lung. Lung means cold. Sardi. Jin Tian Han Lung. Jin Tian Han Lung. Jin Tian Han Lung. Today it's very cold. Jin Tian means today. Han means very. Lung means cold. Today it's very cold. Aaj bahut sardi hai. Jin tian means aaj. Khan zyada. Lung sardi. Aaj bahut zyada sardi hai. Okay, the next word is mama. Mama. Mama means mom. There is another word mochin. Mochin. That all that means mother. And here it, this one means mom. Wo mama shi shi jie shang zui hao de. 我妈妈世界上最好的。我妈妈是世界上最好的。I think I have missed the sh in the in pronouncing this sentence for the second time, so I will、uh, mention it here. 我妈妈是世界上最好的。我 means I. 妈妈 mom 是 Is, 世界世界 means world. Shang, upon the world or in the world. When you say in the world, then you use 世界上世界上 okay, in the world. 最好的 means the best. This 最 is used with different words, in.、Um, Making its intensity deep, I mean, intensify something. We use "zui" with that. You will find it.、Uh, this you will find this word very often in some sentences in which you are trying to intensify the feelings. Okay. So "zui hao de" means the best. Okay, and "shi" and "de." This is.、Uh, A sentence structure in HSK one. If you learn it more in detail, you will find this sentence structure in HSK one book also. So, 我妈妈是世界上最好的 My mom is the best in the world. 我 means my 妈妈 Mother, mom 是世界上最好的 Is the best. Is in the world. The best. 最好的 the best. Mary Ma Tamam Dunya Me Behtreen. सबसे बेहतर है. वो मामा Mary Ma 是世界上 इस दुनिया में最好的 बेहतरीन है सबसे बेहतर है. Okay. Now proceeding towards the next one. Lie, lie, lie to come. You can see the word in the orange. 
And now let's discuss the sentence. Ta hai shi mei yu lai. Ta hai shi mei yu lai. Ta hai shi mei yu lai. Mei yu lai. Ta hai shi mei yu lai. Ta means he. Hai shi. Hai shi means still. Mei yu. Mei yu. Have not. Or did not lie to come. He still did not come. Ta hai shi mei yu lai. He still did not come. He ta means he hai shi abhi tak mei yu nahi nahi lai aya. Wo abhi tak nahi aya. He still did not come. Wo abhi tak nahi aya. Lai means to come. Iska Urdu mein matlab hai aana. वो अभी तक नहीं आया था खैश में यो लाए ही स्टिल डिड नॉट कम द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज अर्थ 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 सन बेटा था यो संग अर्थ था यो संग अर्थ था यो संग अर्थ ही हैज थ्री सन्स था यो संग अर्थ Ta means he, yo means have to have, sang sang three, arz arz son, and we are uh, mentioning three before this arz, so it is making it plural, and alone it means son, but with this with mentioning three. Then we are going to make it plural. So, the concept of plural is different in Chinese, okay, than that of English. Tha yo sanga arz. He has three sons. Uske teen bete hain. Tha he yo. Tha he yani uske us mart ke yo hai sanga teen arz bete us. के तीन बेटे हैं उस शख्स के तीन बेटे हैं ओके प्रोसीडिंग टू वर्ड नेक्स्ट ओके मेयो 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 मीन्स डोंट हैव वो मेयो चू गौ द चेन माए वो चुए सी हन द चेन सान वो मेयो चू गौ द चेन माए वो चुए सी हन द चेन सान वो मीन्स आए मेयो Means don't have to go to go enough to go the qian 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 with the second term means money. 我没我没有足够的钱。我没有足够的钱。I don't have enough money. 买 to buy. 我最喜欢的。I told you that this 最 is used often. To intensify the feelings, so in the previous sentence where we said 最好的 the best here 最喜欢的 means favorite 最喜欢的 favorite 我最喜欢的 my favorite 衬衫衬衫 means shirt. So I don't have enough money to buy my favorite shirt. 我没有足够的钱买我。最喜欢的衬衫。I don't have enough money to buy my favorite shirt. 我 means I. 没有 don't have 足够的足够的钱足够的钱 enough money 买 to buy 我我最喜欢的 my favorite 衬衫 shirt. मेरे पास इतने पैसे नहीं है कि मैं अपनी पसंद की शर्ट खरीद सकूं। वो मैं यो मेरे पास नहीं है चू गौ द चेन इतने सारे पैसे इतने काफ़ी पैसे या इतने पैसे माए के खरीद सकूं। वो चुए सी खानदा मेरी पसंदीदा चंदान शर्ट मेरे पास इतने पैसे नहीं है कि मैं अपनी पसंद की शर्ट खरीद सकूं। I hope that you understood the meaning of this long sentence. Uh, the beauty of these lectures is that you not only learn 
the words of HSK1 but you also learn the other other words from different levels of HSK so when you proceed uh, in passing these tests like if you pass the HSK1 test then you take HSK2 so some of the words that I'm using here in these uh, video lectures uh, these are basically also belonging from uh, the other levels of the test so it is an additional uh, advantage for uh, those people those true learners who want to learn these so they can uh, easily understand these characters because here they can have a look of those characters or those words which they are having to uh, uh, memorize or practice when they proceed to the next levels so keep going and we are going to proceed towards the word number 31 mi fan mi fan mi fan means rice ta bu xi huan chi mi fan ta bu xi huan chi mi fan mi fan ta means she bu xi huan xi huan means to like bu xi huan means don't like ta bu xi huan chi mi fan she don't doesn't like like if we are uh, using it uh, with uh, um, a singular pronoun or noun then we will, we will mean doesn't but if we are using it with plural pronouns or nouns then we will definitely use don't like so pussy one here means doesn't like but if it was taman pussy one chumi fan then it would definitely mean uh don't like but here it means doesn't like ta bu xi huan chi mi fan she doesn't like to eat rice ta means she bu xi huan doesn't like with this pronoun this bu xi huan means doesn't chi to eat mi fan rice she does she doesn't like or she does not like to eat rice use any us aurat ya us ladki ko Chawal kana pasan nahi hai. Mi fan. Chawal. Rice. Tha us ko. Lerki ya aurat. Pusi huan. Pasan nahi hai. Pasan nahi karti. Chir ke kai. Mi fan. Chawal. Use ye pasan nahi. Ke wo chawal kai. Okay. So let's proceed towards the word number 32. And it is kan. This verb have different meanings. But one meaning of this verb, can, is to watch. Okay? So, Taman Zai Kan Dianying. Taman Zai Kan Dianying. Taman Zai Kan Dianying. Taman Zai Kan Dianying. Taman means they. Zai. This is a word used in Chinese to show the continuation of something, some action that is in its continued form so zai zai means the uh, word used for continuation of the action of what kantining kantining to watch a movie so they are watching a movie so i told you that this word which is a verb in chinese means to watch can can and it has other meanings, but here we are discussing the meaning of watching. So, Taman Zai Kan Dian Ying, Taman Zai Kan Dian Ying, Zai Kan Dian Ying, Zai, Zai, this Zai, okay? Taman Zai Kan Dian Ying, they are watching a movie. Wo film de kare hai, Taman Wo, Jama hai, Jama, jese hum kete hai, Ta. तो इसका मतलब है ही एक मर्द या लड़का था मन वो मर्दों का ग्रुप वो लड़कों का ग्रुप ठीक है कॉम्बिनेशन में है चाय अभी जो ये लफ्ज है ये चाइनीज में आ, किसी भी एक्शन को कोई भी जो काम हो रहा है उसकी जारी होने के तरफ इशारा करता है कि ये काम अभी जारी है so, अगर ये आपके सामने नजर आ जाए, चाय, ये वाला, तो इसका मतलब है कोई काम जारी है, 
نوعیت اس کی جاری ہونے کی ہے کھان دیکھنا تین انگ تین انگ فلم وہ جمع ہے تائیں کھان تین انگ فلم دیکھ رہے ہیں وہ ابھی فلم دیکھنے کے عمل سے گزر رہے ہیں انہوں نے فلم دیکھی نہیں یہ ختم نہیں کیے دے آر واچنگ اے مووی ابھی وہ فلم دیکھ رہے ہیں سو کھان مینز ون میننگ آف اٹ از ٹو واچ آئی ہوپ یو گار اٹ اینڈ ون از کھان چین کھان چین ناؤ دیر از اے سلائٹ ڈفرینس ان دیز ٹو سم ٹائمز دیز آر انٹرچینجبل بٹ دے آر ڈفرینٹ ان نیچر ایکچولی سو آئی ٹولڈ یو دیٹ ون آف دا میننگ آف کھان از ٹو واچ دس کھان چین مینس ٹو کیچ اے سائٹ آف ٹو کیچ سائٹ آف اور ٹو سی اوکے دیکھنا سو وہ ہوئے ہن کاؤ سنگ کھان چین نی وہ ہوئے ہن کاؤ سنگ کھان چین نی I will be glad to see you. So this is like meeting someone, okay? Meeting someone to see them or have catching sight of something, okay? So uh, if we uh, take Jian alone, it means to meet someone face to face, okay? Kan Jian means to see someone, okay? To see someone. So, wo hui hen kao xin kan jian ni, wo ai hui ken. Hen kao xin, hen kao xin means very glad. Kan jian ni to see you. Wo hui hen kao xin kan jian ni, I will be glad to see you. Mujhe khushi hogi ke mein aapse milu, aapko deku, thik hai? To, ایک معنی ہم لے سکتے ہیں کہ ملنا ٹھیک ہے اور جیسے کہ جین اگر ہم اکیلے استعمال کرتے ہیں اس کا مطلب ہے ملنا فیس ٹو فیس کسی سے ملنا لیکن کھان جین مینس ٹو سی سو یو کین سی لائک فار ایگزامپل یو کین سی نی کھان جین تھا لما نی کھان جین تھا لما ڈیڈ یو سی ہیم اوکے سو کھان جین مینس ٹو سی اور ٹو واچ سوری ٹو کیچ اے سائٹ ٹو کیچ سائٹ آف وہ ہوئے ہن کاؤ سنگ کھان چین نی آئی بی گلیڈ ٹو سی یو مجھے خوشی ہوگی کہ آپ سے ملوں یا آپ کو دیکھوں تو دیکھنے کا مقصد کیا ہوتا ہے کہ ملنا ہوتا ہے مقصد یہ ہوتا ہے وہ ہوئے ہن کاؤ سنگ کھان چین نی وہ مینس آئے ہوئے یہاں پہ یہ ہوئے کا مطلب ہے ویل اوکے اور وی کین آلسو یوز وی کین One meaning of this is can, but one meaning of this hui is will, uh, indicating the future, future, okay? So, talking about the future uh, situation in which two people are going to meet each other. Han gao sing means very glad. Bohut zyada khushi hogi agar ye hui hum uske saath istemal kare. Hui han gao sing, bohut zyada khushi hogi mujhe کھینچیے نی تاکہ میں آپ کو دیکھ سکوں کہ میں آپ کو مل سکوں یا دیکھ سکوں سو آئی ہوپ اٹ از کلیئر کیچ سائٹ آف اور ٹو سی اوکے دس از آلسو اے ڈفرینٹ ڈسکشن دیٹ واٹ از دا ڈفرینس بٹوین کھان اینڈ کھان چین اینڈ چین اوکے سو دیز کین بی ڈسکسڈ ان سم ادر لیکچر بٹ ہیئر ناؤ وی آر جسٹ ڈسکسنگ دا میننگ آف دیز ورڈس اینڈ یوزنگ دیز ان اے سینٹینس So this one is word number 34, my, 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 means to buy, to buy something. 我们买一些水果吧, 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 to buy. Let's buy some fruit. This word, this word, particle, used in Chinese sentences is to suggest something to someone. You are suggesting something to someone that let's do something. So here, uh, the person who's involved is like he is addressing the other group of the other people to buy some fruit. Woman, my Let's buy some fruit. Okay, let's buy some fruit. So. ومن ہم مائے خرید نا یہاں پر اور ہم کہہ سکتے ہیں خریدتے ہیں ومن مائے 
一些 some coach 水果 fruit ba ye wala lafz jab chinese zuban mein jumle ke aakhir mein aa jaye to iska matlab hai ki aap kisi ko tajweez de rahe hain kisi ko mashwara de rahe hain ki aap hum ye kaam karte hain theek hai to woman mai yi se shui ko ba hum kuch phal kharidte hain shui ko phal yi se kuch mai kharidte hain woman hum pa jaise ki maine kaha ki tajweez tajweez di ja rahi hai ki hum kuch phal kharidte hain so i hope that it's very easy to understand mai to buy something okay now this one is means means ni de er zi jiao shen ma ming zi ni de er zi jiao shen ma ming zi what is your son's name ni de yours er zi er zi we have discussed this in this lecture means son jiao to be called shen ma ming zi with what name your son is called literally but we can easily say it what is your son's name aapke bete ka naam kya hai means 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 name ni de er zi jiao shen ma ming zi ni de er zi jiao shen ma ming zi ni de yours er zi means son jiao to be called shen ma ming zi what name with what name your son is called kis naam se aapke bete ko pukara jata hai ya aasan alfaz mein aapke bete ka naam kya hai ni de aapke अर्ज आपके या तुम्हारे अर्ज सन बेटा जाओ पुकारा जाना शमा किस मीन्स नाम से किस नाम से आपके बेटे को पुकारा जाता है या आपके बेटे का क्या नाम है दर्स प्रोसीड टूवर्ड्स द वर्ड नंबर थर्टी सिक्स फंग यो फंग यो फ्रेंड था शेर वो द फंग यो था शेर वो द फंग यो ही इज माई फ्रेंड था मीन्स ही शेर इज वो द माई फंग यो फ्रेंड था शे वो द फंग यो ही इज माई फ्रेंड वो मेरा दोस्त है था मीन्स वो शे मे शे है वो द मेरा फंग यो दोस्त वो मेरा दोस्त है ओके प्रोसीडिंग टूवर्ड्स दी वर्ड नंबर थर्टी सेवन फ्याओ लियांग था हन फ्याओ लियांग था हन फ्याओ लियांग शी इज वेरी प्रिटी ब्यूटिफुल प्रिटी ओके सो इट्स एन एडजेक्टिव एंड यूज फॉर सेम प्रिटी so she is very beauty beautiful or she is very pretty tha han phyao liang wo bahut khoobsurat hai tha wo han bahut zyada ya zyada phyao liang khoobsurat wo bahut khoobsurat hai okay i hope you got it word number 38 is na means where na ni zai na li Uh, this is the third tone sound. The rule apply here, and it changes basically this into a second tone, and this remains the same. So we can say it. Nali, nali, ni zai nali. Where are you? Where are you? Ni zai nali. I hope this is simple. Uh, यहाँ पे एक rule इस्तेमाल होता है nali. ये जब दो third tone uh, एक दूसरे के बाद आ जाए मतलब दो तर टोन एक साथ आ जाए तो पहला जो ये टोन है ये सेकंड टोन में तब्दील हो जाता है तो आपने फिर इसे ऐसे बोला है नाली नाली राइजिंग टोन है ना सेकंड टोन तो आपने इसको राइजिंग बोलना है नी चाय नाली वी आर आर यू तुम कहाँ हो नी चाय नाली तुम कहाँ हो वी आर आर यू ओके New R, daughter. New R, man is beautiful. New R, man is beautiful. New R, man is beautiful. New R, man alone. New R means daughter. But uh, we are here talking about daughters. Daughters plural. So man is added. New R, man is beautiful. Daughters are blessing. Daughters are a blessing. New Arman should chufu. Daughters are a blessing. Okay, chufu means blessing. Ah, betiya rahmat hoti hai. New Arman, betiya sh hai hoti hai hoti chufu hoti hai chufu 
रहमत बेटिया रहमत होती है न्यू और मानस जूफू बेटिया रहमत होती है वर्ड नंबर फोर्टी एंड द लास्ट वर्ड इज पिंगो पिंगो एप्पल एप्पल फ्रूट है इट्स अ फ्रूट एंड इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन एंड फेमस ईडियम इन इंग्लिश एंड एट द सेम टाइम इट इज अ वेरी फेमस एंड मोस्ट यूज ईडियम आई हैव हर्ड फ्रॉम चाइनीज फ्रेंड्स दैट इज अ वेरी फेमस ईडियम ऑल्सो इन चाइनीज वेन आई वॉज ऑस्किंग अबाउट दिस ईडियम फ्रॉम दैम that uh i have an english idiom in english and i want to tell you can you tell me the meaning of this and they told me that uh all these words exactly the same in english and i told them yes and they told me that this is exactly the idiom used in chinese uh, for saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away so basically this idiom is used for telling that this means that eating an apple each day can help to keep you healthy okay so we will say yi tian yi ge bing guo yi tian yi ge bing guo yi sheng yuan li wo yi sheng yuan li wo yi tian yi tian a yi tian a day yi ge bing guo an apple yi sheng doctor yuan li Yuan Li, Yuan Li, far away, far away, Wu, from me. So, you're talking about oneself. So, literally, it means that if I eat an apple a day, it will keep the doctor away from me. Okay, far away, far away. So, Yi Tian Yi Ge Bing Guo, Yi Sheng Yuan Li Wu, Yi Tian Yi Ge Bing Guo. Yi sheng yuan li wo, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the lecture, and uh, I hope that you like the way of the presentation of each and every word in this lecture. And uh, we will meet each other in next interesting video lecture regarding. these topics topics about chinese language and you will enjoy learning along with me so main ummeed karta hu ki aaj ka lecture waisi hi mufid raha hoga jaise ki baaki ke lecture rahe hain aur ummeed karta hu ki aage bhi inshallah aapke uh, chinese zuban ke mutalliq ilm mein izafi ke liye videos isi tarah banata rahunga और आपकी फीडबैक का भी मंतजर रहूँगा अगर आप ये चैनल जो इन्फॉर्मेशन मैं शेयर करता हूँ इस चैनल के ऊपर अगर आपको ये पसंद है तो आप चैनल को लाइक करना और सब्सक्राइब करना और दोस्तों के साथ शेयर करना ना भूलें अगर आप चैनल पर नए हैं सो हम मिलते हैं नए लेक्चर में और तब तक के लिए अल्लाह हाफिज़ साइजियन